Welcome to the final meditation masterclass in this series conducted by Taji, the global guide of the heartfulness movement. In this session, you will learn to connect with your inner self and listen to the heart's voice. Observe your deepest feelings, make wise choices and weave your destiny. Namaste and hello everyone. Welcome back. Today is the third and final master class in this series. In the past two sessions, we had practiced relaxation and daily meditation with transmission. This was to connect ourselves with our own heart. We also practice cleaning trying to remove the impressions that hinder our connection with our heart. Today, I would like to explain in detail how we can create the conditions that will nurture the inner connection with our heart. It is easy to create the condition, the connection, but also it's, I think, equally simple and easier to keep nurturing and making this connection stronger. The process is very simple. Let's understand what happens. Generally after meditation, the deep state of meditative consciousness, also called Samadhi in ancient literature, lasts for a few seconds or few minutes. How to make it possible that this high level of meditative consciousness rest with us, you know, for longest duration possible during the daytime. I will explain and then we will meditate together. Our practice of meditation must result in meditative state. Even when we are not meditating, that is, when we are at work or going about our daily activities and especially while sleeping, the meditative state must accompany us for longer and longer durations of the day and the night. So how to foster this? The key to that is to create a cycle of constant connection with the heart. How do we create that cycle of constant connection? First, we start the day with morning meditation. Soon as we wake up, you know, we, we try to offer to our own self a kind of a reminder that yes, I'm going to meditate. I like to connect with myself. It is like auto-suggestion to yourself. And as we remember to unite with our heart, we are setting the tone and direction for our day. Okay. Next, the cleaning technique. It is ideal to do our cleaning at the end of day's work because during the day we acquire many impressions in the form you know as repetitive thoughts emotions inner disturbances etc so we want to remove them so that we clear our inner space our heart space finally at bedtime just before we sleep we do a short meditation a prayerful meditation we meditate for a few minutes bringing our attention to the light in our heart like we do in the morning and we set our intentions which is to be attuned to our heart at all times and be one with the highest potential that is within us. If possible you can scan through all the day's activities, see where we went wrong, see where we need improve and resolve at that time through this meditation in a very subtle way, in a very, very gentle way, how not to repeat the same mistake again. This resolution is improvement and such constant improvements in ourself makes us better and better all the time. This is what, we li what I would like to call it as continuous improvement. So, at bedtime, we kindle our longing for this inward connection to deepen, knowing that the guidance we need is also within our heart. 
Our heart is now our guide. As we go to sleep, this connection continues in our subconscious, making it easier for us to meditate the next morning. Thus, we are also able to make use of the idle, unproductive hours of sleep. Sleep, no doubt, gives us rest. It helps us recuperate our system at a physical level. But now, we are trying to make use of these hours of sleep to a better advantage in improving our consciousness. In Yoga Shastra, we call going from Susupti, your deep sleep, into Turiya state, the fourth condition which is highly described. Maybe in future we will be able to discuss more on Turiya and Turiyatit conditions or the fourth and the stages lying beyond the fourth state. Anyway, first thing we do in the morning consciously is to connect. And last thing we do at, at bedtime is to bring this conscious connection with ourselves into the subconscious while we go to sleep. And over time, through repetition and through fashioning a routine, through the cycle of connection, we expand our capacity to be attuned to our heart and the highest potential within us at all times. That is also why I recommend that we got to fix a regular time. We should set aside a regular place for daily meditation or practice. Routine helps tremendously. It is like establishing a biological clock in our system. Okay. So dear friends, now more than ever, let's meditate together. Gently close your eyes. We'll be meditating now. Please sit with the same comfortable posture you are in, with your attention drawn very gently towards the heart. Think that the source of light which is already present inside my heart is drawing my attention inward. It is pulling my in attention inward. If thoughts do arise, just gently remind yourself that we are in meditation, meditating on the source of light. Let us rest our attention in the heart. Feel the longing that is there in the heart to be one and the highest one can be. Call upon this deepest self for guidance. Try to go deeper within. Once this process of meditation is over, I will say that's all. That is when you open your eyes. So let's meditate.
So. So dear friends, please make a short note on how you felt after this meditation. Let's take a few moments and gently observe how you felt. Scan the whole system, your entire body, your mind and your heart. Stay in this condition and allow it to settle in you. You can make some notes. Where was your attention during the meditation? How do you feel now? Any inspirations and ideas during meditation? My channel, of course, it will take more than one session to feel progress. But I emphasize that your condition, your confidence in mastering the techniques, in tracking and in validating the results of yourself is what heartfulness meditation strongly recommends. Often at bedtime when I offer or I undergo this meditation at bedtime, I often remind myself what is it that is helping me in transforming myself and better become a better human being. What is it that has actually drawn me back or pulled me back from my onward journey that is preventing in my evolution at a consciousness level. Doing unwanted things brings you down. Doing generous acts of kindness, compassion, empathy, all these things seem to be uplifting our spirit. Well, anyway, it is for each one of us to decide and conclude at the end of you know, our day's activities just before bedtime and remind ourselves what to do and what to avoid. We are now coming to the end of our session. Every day you will have newer and deeper and longer lasting experiences. I assure you, I promise you, you will have them. Like any other skill, meditation requires discipline. Practice and witness the results. And one last thing I would emphasize, when you do meditate, do it with a joyful heart, joyful attitude. Meditation must be a joyful exercise. Only then you can master it. Namaste and thank you. We're so glad that you joined us over the past three days and we trust that you found a practice that you can incorporate into your daily life and continue to deepen with meditation for the rest of your life. All the best. Mm -hmm.